Hey guys, so in today's video I'm showing y'all this contour routine and as you can tell it's pretty like pinky toned and highlighted but I'll also show like how to do basic contour with like a kit and translucent powder because a lot of people have been requesting for me to do that video and yeah I'm not sure how I feel about this lipstick I usually like never wear dark lip colors but I figured since the eyes were so neutral I'd do like a bold lip I don't know but I have a heart shaped face as you can tell like it goes like that I don't know kind of weird but this is what I do for my face I like doing like more like this and that's just because I like having more like defined jaws and stuff but if you want more of a subtle or even like cheekbone kind of effect I would recommend going like this and once again I have a heart shaped face so my cheeks kind of already do that but if you really want like plumpness in your face I'd recommend that strategy and just let me know if you want to see a video like about contouring different face shapes because I totally recommend that if you do something for someone with a long face you're obviously not going to look the same like I don't contour my forehead because it's super tiny you know my chin's kind of pointy I don't really mess with it a ton but someone with a longer face may want to you know contour those parts so yeah I could do a video on that maybe use someone else's face. If you're interested on in seeing how I got this look, then just continue watching. Before I start with foundation, I clip my hair back and I'm just using the Fenty foundation and applying that because it does set pretty fast. And I'm also going to drag that down to my neck and chest because it matched my arm and like my self tan, but I just wanted to make sure it blended evenly. Now that I have an even base, I'm going with concealer and this is the Too Faced Born This Way and I'm applying that under my eyes on my forehead and on my chin and blending that out with the same foundation brush just because I like the coverage it gives. Next we're going to bake. So I just use the translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier on a beauty blender and apply that exactly where you place the concealer. Then you're just going to move on to your contour and stuff and let that set and then brush it away in the end so it won't always look this crazy. I switch up my bronzers a lot but today I'm using the Anastasia contour kit and this is great for beginners. And here I'm showing the shapes that are possible and I went with the one that was kind of straight down with the jawline and another thing with your bronzer you just want to make sure it's matte and brown because shimmer would really look unnatural I'm just blending this out with a medium sized powder brush and it's super important to blend up and not kind of on the lower part because it makes it look a little bit muddy you really want to blend up because it makes it look a little bit more natural then take that translucent powder and go right underneath and create a sharp edge and I swear once you swipe away the powder it won't look as harsh but it really prevents the contour from looking muddy and it really sharpens it up. Then just swipe away your translucent powder and blend some more. Next, I love blush, so I'm applying a really glowy pink one here from MAC, and don't worry, I'll list everything in the description box below, but you want to apply this in a way that it angles up, not really on the apples of your cheeks, but you just want to blend it up, and here I'm just showing you the same thing on the other side. Last but definitely not least is highlighter. I'm using the Liquid Cover FX Drops and just applying that on the tip of my nose, my cheekbones, and my cupid's bow. And I blended that out off camera. And then I'm going in underneath my eyes and applying some of the contour powder just to kind of define them a little bit more. 
I'm spraying some setting spray by Tarte and then going in with my Anastasia lip palette in the shade red and just, you know, filling in my lips, I guess. Looking back, I'm not sure how I feel about the lips, but I forgot to show you guys how I contour my jaw. I just go in with powder and blend it up and down my neck. You know, this is pretty easy. And then make sure you get your ears because you don't want it to look mismatched. And a little bit under your lips to make them look bigger. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, please just give it a thumbs up, comment down below any video suggestions you may have for me, and yeah, follow me on all my social medias, they're all linked down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all!